What is up guys? My name is Sarius. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a brand new video. And oh boy, what a game to talk about. The Montreal Canadiens tonight took on the Detroit Red Wings. We were in the Little Seizures Arena in Detroit, Michigan. We played the hometown Red Wings. And we won, in case you can't tell by the jersey or the title. The score is right above me, boys. We're going to get into the game. If you're new here, we get into the lines. We do the game summary and or a little bit of analysis for me. We do the stats for the Canadians, and we get out of here. We're not going to waste any more time with it. The opening lines for the Montreal Canadiens were New Hook, Suzuki, and Anderson, Caulfield, Dvorak, Slavkovsky, Pearson, Monaghan, Gallagher, and Pazetta, Evans, Armia, Matheson, Barron, Guli, Kovacevic, and Jack I. Harris were on the blue line. Caden Primo gets the start between the pipes, and Jake Allen backs him up after a terrible last game. The opening lines for the Red Wings were to bring it Larkin, um, Raymond, Cop, Comfort, Chernak, so it was a triple C line. Peron, Vreno, uh, Vreno, <laughs> Joe Valeno, sorry, Sprung, and Costin Rasmussen, Fisher on the fourth line. Wallman, Cider, uh, Sherat, Petrie, uh, Mata, Hall were on the blue line. James Reimer gets the start in net. Alex Lyon backs him up. I believe the Red Wings do have a starting goalie, but he's out right now. It might be Vili Huso, I think. Um, unless I traded him, and I just didn't remember. Uh, before the game, Shane Gossespierre is a healthy scratch tonight. Um, I believe that was the only noteworthy news from either team, uh, except for the line changes for the Canadians. Uh, Newhook and Anderson switching place with Caulfield and Slavkovsky. Um Yeah, and also Caden Primo looking for his first win since December 2020, would he get it? Would he not? Uh, well, I don't know. The final score says three to two Canadians. Did he stay in the game? Whole? Did he stay in that the whole game? Let's find out. Uh, Habs early in the game. They get two shots. A couple looks early for the third line. Gallagher gets taken down twice. Habs and go to the PK because the refs don't like us. Harris is called on a hold. Good shot blocked by Primo. Or stopped by Primo. Uh, block sh stopped, whatever. Uh, Wallman gets two good looks. One is stopped. The other gets blocked. Primo looks good early on. We are one for one on the PK tonight. Redding's in control. Habs aren't able to get much early. Slavkovsky has a nice deke. Try to keep a play going. Uh, Red Wings then push, but off a turnover. Mike Matheson scores for the Canadians. He buries at top shelf. Alex Newhook with the lone assist. Uh, really good chance after he tried to spring a Suzuki breakaway. It's 1-0 regardless. Matheson with a damn good chance there. Habs and go to the power play about 20 seconds later. Petrie. Is called for delay of game. Former Hab Jeff Petrie. Hab's first unit was not clicking all too much. Second unit was much better. Slavkovsky has a nice shot on net. Another one with Reimer down. Doesn't get it through the traffic though. We are 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. Hab's gets some momentum. A couple to fourth line chances. There's an Armia shot that gets saved. A couple near turnovers. We were trying to make it 2 0. Habs get a good chance. There's not too, too much. Shots get blocked. Both teams were turning the puck over. Detroit then nearly has a 2-on-0 uh, after a Monaghan turnover. Primo is a good stop on Dylan Larkin. He just kind of stayed with him. Habs didn't go to the PK. Pizzetta is called for a holding call. However, with the delayed penalty, Wings pressured for about 40 seconds. And 40 seconds into the Wings power play, it's a 4-on-4 four four into a... Brief power play. Raymond's called for a slash. Habs are able to clear the puck on the PK. We are technically 2-for-2 two two on the PK. During the 4-on-4, four four, Evans nearly cashes in on a turnover from the Wings. Wings get a couple chances. Uh, Canadians' momentum on the power play doesn't really turn to much. There's an Anderson shot right into the chest. Habs are 0-for-2 on the power play. Uh, Pizzetta gets involved in a bit of a scrub after a whistle with, huh? with Michael Rasmussen. A uh, big 6'6", six, six, Michael Rasmussen. No idea he was that big. Shots are 10 to 8 Habs after a uh, after 20 minutes with a one nothing lead as well. Habs early get some pressure uh, against them. Wings work over. Wings worked them over. Gooley has a nice rough play trying to fight for a puck. You love to see it. He ended up getting to bring it up high with a stick. No call, surprisingly. Then the Wings go to the power play. Anderson's called for a trip on, on Valeno. That's just a dumb penalty to take. Anderson, who's, by the way, sporting now exclusively a mustache. So, none of this going on. Just the mustache. Um, yeah, Habs with a pretty solid PK. Wings get a couple chances. Good kill, though. We are 3-for-3 three three on the PK. Wings then go right back to the power play about 40 seconds after. The, a lot of 40 seconds after. 40 seconds after the first power, well, the third power play for them. Gooley is called for a hold on Fisher. That was, that was a penalty. Dumb one to take. Zuki, though. Found shorthanded, nearly makes it 2-0 on a break, just off the post. I believe they said Reimer got a piece of it and went off the post, but still, 
that would have been massive for the Canadians. Suzuki is another good steal. He's a bit tired, just clears it. Uh, Evans uh, was cutting in on the left, but the puck is cleared. He isn't able to get on a break, unfortunately. Uh, we're 4 for 4 on the PK. The penalty kill is admittedly underrated. It's weird because there's like two or three games where it's like, you know, 6 for 6, 5 for 6, and there's a game where it's 2 for 5, and that kind of hinders... Um, how the PK stats overall are. I think we've actually had a very, very good PK to start the year so far. Um, uh, the power play, spoiler, did score tonight, but, I mean, still still could use some work. It's getting a little bit better, though. I will say that it is getting better. Uh, Detroit then gets away with six men on the ice because the referees love them. Uh, fresh off the kill, Canadians get a good chance. Gallagher to Monaghan just isn't able to bury it. Habs, second line, then looked good. Caulfield nearly found a shot. It's weird saying second line in Caulfield. Slavkovsky has a good chance. He isn't able to get it through. Jacker takes a fist up high. No, court, uh, no call, of course, from the Detroit ref wings. Um, Canadians then struggled for a few minutes. They go to the power play, though. Wallman's called for a hold on Anderson as he had broken in on a near break. No penalty shot because a shot from Andy was not hindered. It's arguably the better call because Anderson probably would have shot wide anyways. Habs on the power play try to find something. And we do. We score. Sean Monahan, after lifting uh, Cider's stick right out of his hands, bit of a sell from Cider. Just a oh my oh, where's my stick? Monahan gets it in front and he scores for the two nothing Habs lead. But the Wings challenge for offside, and it's successful by about that much. Uh, yeah, a one nothing lead for the Canadians. The wind was completely out of the sails on the power play. Wings with some easy clears. Habs are 0 for 3. Canadians with some looks. Uh, good pressure, though, keeping the Wings out for over a minute with uh, with some zone time. There's a good shot by Gooley just tipped wide. Habs and try to get some momentum after the no-goal call. Uh, then the Wings score, just like that. Christian Fisher off his glove and in a tie game. Um, yeah, it looked like there was goalie interference or that he bats it in off his glove. Uh it's a review from Toronto. The graphic said that it was a coach's challenge, but apparently it was some something from Toronto. And it's still a goal. So despite the fact that it's ruled Fisher's goal and it clearly goes off his glove and directly in, it's still a tie game. So the referee's clearly against the Montreal Canadiens right now. Um, yeah, fuck the referees. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, the officials who were in this game, that being uh, uh, Brian Pochmera, Brendan <laughs> Blandin, Brendan Blandina, Tommy Hughes, and Brad Kovacic, uh, fucking sucked. <laughs> I think that goes without saying. Uh, oh, Husso was a healthy scratch. Yes, okay, so healthy. So he was a scratch. Uh, Harvey Pinard was also a scratch. Same with Ulinen, and of course Montembeau because he was the third goaltender. So, yeah. Uh, let's keep it going with the uh, with the stuff. So Habs get to the power play with a minute twenty left in. I put the game, but I meant the period. Uh, Larkin's called for or Larking as I put. Larkin called for a trip on Gooley. Clear as day. Finally, we get something else. Uh, Habs try to get. To, sorry, Habs tried to pressure. Uh, not much gets through to the net. Uh, we do have 30 seconds of power play time to start the third. Habs are uh, sorry. Shots are 23-16 for the Red Wings. And a 1-1 tie game after 40 minutes of play. Canadians score with her. with three seconds of power play time left. About 25 seconds in to the third period. Nick Suzuki gets the goal from Matheson and Monaghan. Good second effort there. Real nice snipe pass. James Reimer on a second, a second effort. Tried to pass it across to Caulfield. Uh, Red Wings couldn't clear. They had two... Good chances to clear, but both I believe both were held by Caulfield, held in by Caulfield. Real good chances, just was not able to uh, send it uh, out. Suzuki capitalizes. Habs are one for four in the power play tonight. Wings and pressure after the goal. Habs are back in numbers. Monaghan tries to set something up. Uh, Canadians are playing quite well this period. They managed to keep pace with the Wings. Uh, then they score off a bad sloppy play by the Habs D. Suzuki with a bad giveaway behind the net. JT Comfer. Puts the shot past Primo for the tying goal. Primo wants that one back, but really not much he can do on that one. Well-aimed shot and just just a good one to tie it up. Wings then push immediately. They aren't able to find anything. Habs get some momentum. Wings, though, have some good D to pressure. Gallagher has a shot after an offside call. Marit Sider is right after him. 
Both men called for roughing good on Galli to take that shot and actually get the Wings' best player off the ice. A uh, little bit of a scrum with everybody involved, not too, too much. We get some 4-on-4 four four hockey. Uh, wings get pressure. Stops from uh, Mont uh, Primo's playing well. Not letting the Wings get a ton of tough chances, but good quality shots. Um, and a, a couple rebounds were coming out for Primo. He was able to control a lot of them, but some of them were coming out uh, loose, unfortunately. Uh, Canadians then pressure Galley out of the box. Um, pass misses him, unfortunately. Wings cause some turnovers. They look for the leading goal with eight to play. Uh, Habs with the third line pressured. Pearson has a good chance that's blocked. Matson then uh, real nice wheels to get back on the two on one. He then has speed going back the other way with a good stop that uh, with a good shot that is stopped. Austin Chernick then gets hit hard. He ends up falling into the boards. So to get up, I didn't see who hit him, but he would get up uh, relatively quickly. Thankfully, uh, thankfully he didn't look too too hurt. Don't believe he did come back to the game though. Canadians afford to play. Try to find one. The third line has a good pressuring chance. Anderson has the second lines out there. Can't put one in an empty net. Sherratt just pokes a puck wide of his stick. Canadians try to stay alive in the final minutes. Playing with the D kind of very uh, lively. Trying to move the puck quickly. Evans then gets cross-checked from behind by Marit Sider. No penalty, of course. Wings then push in the dying minutes. Aren't able to find anything on Caden Primo. Shots are 26-22 for the Wings. It's a 2-2 tie game into overtime. Red Wings control off the faceoff. There's not a lot of pressure at first. 40 seconds in, though, the Wings enter the zone. Couple chances. Good stops for Primo. Habs try to look the other way. Wings, though, pressure. Couple more chances. Zuki then gets on a break. Reimer stays with him. A great save there. Sherratt then with a slew foot on, I believe it was Nick Suzuki in the Canadian zone. No call once again. The refs were seriously getting paid well by the Red Wings to not call a lot of the dirty plays that they got away with tonight. Uh, Habs, though, finally go to the power play again. Uh, Caulfield, clear as day, has a stick grab by Reimer. He says, hey, fuck it, we're not getting called for penalties. I'm going to do this. Two on one back for the other, back for the wings the other way. And as the pass is being uh, sent across, it's called on the penalty. Reimer's called for holding the stick. Canadians can't pressure right away. Um, I believe there's a puck held by Reimer. Another face-off one. Suzuki has it over to Matheson, over to Caulfield. Nice little hold. Fakes the shot. Cuts. Rister, and he scores. Reimer sees 0% of it. Can't even try to make a save. Cole Caulfield who Reimer had held, gets the goal, his fifth of the year. I believe they said his third overtime game-winning goal, or his third uh, game-winner of the year. Matheson, Suzuki with the assist. 3-2 over, overtime win for the Montreal Canadiens. We are, uh, by the way, uh, I didn't mention it, but we are now, I want to say it's two for five on the power play. Uh, when was the last power play that we got? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, it was a fucking while. Uh, not two for five. Were we four for five? Or, that didn't sound right. Were we two for four? That didn't sound right. Either way, we, uh, we do win it on a power play goal from Cole Caulfield. Habs win again 3-2 to two in overtime. Final shots, 29-26 for the Red Wings. Caden Primo with his first win since December of 2021. So, almost three years since his last win. He finally gets another one. Good on him, Taylor. Whew. To anybody who just wanted to let him go off waivers, shame on you. All right, let's get into the Canadians' stats for this game because we got to get out of here. I'm sure y'all got stuff to do. I got a couple things I want to do. Cole Caulfield has five goals, eight assists, 13 points. Sean Monahab, six goals, six assists, 12 points. Nick Suzuki, five goals, seven assists, 12 points. Remember when he was struggling to start the year? Uh, Mike Matheson, three goals, seven assists, 10 points. Remember when he wasn't playing like a top five, top 15 D-man to start the year? I do. Brendan Gallagher, four goals, three assists, seven points. Alex Newhook, three goals, four assists, seven points. Tanner Pearson, three goals, three assists, six points. Justin Barron, three goals, one assist, four points. Rafael Harpero is currently out uh, with an injury, along with Caden Gooley, who's in the lineup, four assists each. Yaris Lukowski, Michael Pozzetta, and Jake Evans, each with a goal and an assist. Sorry. Uh, Kirby Doc, Arbor Jacki, and, uh, sorry, do I not have Josh Anderson anymore? Oh my god, I don't think I do. <laughs> I do not have Josh Anderson on my stats list anymore. I'm sorry. I completely missed. I, oh my God. I completely butchered Anderson. <laughs> wow. So I'm actually going to read off the NHL site 
uh, this time. All right, let me uh, let me restart. Okay, apparently. Wait, never mind. I can't because it's not counting. To, well, it doesn't matter because I can. Let me just grab Anderson. Okay, it doesn't really matter because he kind of fucking sucks still. All right. Uh, all right, we're good. All right, sorry. Uh, Kirby Doc, who's unfortunately out for the remainder of the year. Arbor Jack, I and David Savard, who's out five, uh, roughly four to six more weeks. All with uh, and Jordan Harris, all with two assists on the year so far. Jesse Ullin and Yoel Armillo with an, with a goal. Josh Anderson with an assist. Arbor Jack, I has three fights. Michael Pizzetta has got two. Tanner Pearson's got one. All right, that is going to do it for today's stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite channel, which includes, but it's not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pringles. My name is Harry. Subscribe to Puff Club. Hey, sub, sub up, D Nation. If you are a member of the Boss Squad, thank you very much. Funny streams and reviews is much greatly appreciated. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Links in the description on the Amazon. Links in the description on the Amazon. Amazon PO Box, PayPal, Discord, Letterbox, Premium Account, Twitch, Streamlabs uh, are all down there as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Rice. Adi Mario. I always remember, no matter how bad we were last year, how good we are like this year. Go Habs, go baby. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Rice again, and I am out. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye guys. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Peace. Bye.